I want to um, say happy birthday to my best friend Chris who passed away a while ago. He was 31, I was 30. And um, he passed away, but I had said the other day that I was going to do a shout out thing for his birthday. And um, like any other distraction that I face, I haven't done it yet. But I'm doing it now. And I'm making an attempt to try to do things right. I've been doing, you know, I'm going to work, do my 12 hours. This is my last week of this. And I'm going to visit my family. I stay in Georgia right now, trying to get comfortable acclimated, you know, by myself to the world. And uh, it's challenging like anything else. HD seal. No muy fácil for my Hispanics get that, but no te preocupas also, it means don't worry about it, uh, fret not, the Bible says, well happy birthday to Chris, July 13th, my birthday is in a few days, July the 18th, and I'll be 48 years young, and uh, I just feel like I've dedicated myself in a positive way to others. And I just don't want to beat myself up no more over what I feel like I've done. Been doing some videos, bringing some things to light, really trying to put the poison and the evil that either I've done or that we can do as people, try to put it on the table, like the way a microscope is, but still spitting things in cold, trying not to offend people. And people just act like they don't even understand that we are all dealing with stuff. And everybody has to know I'm not, I'm not on a level where I don't have any baggage that I don't have any uh, troubles. And if that's what you think about me, I just feel like it's not an accurate perspective. I already know people will abandon you. That I know. And that hurts, knowing that people really don't care much about you. And uh, when somebody draws a conclusion, I mean, that's it. Almost nothing you can do about it. That's how racism functions. You know, they have decided they don't like you. So you can give all the maximum effort and at your job. You can buy them presents on their birthday. You can do whatever you think you want. But you're still not going to impress or satisfy somebody that don't care nothing about you. That's all I'm saying. So we are individuals. And people are in denial. They believe they got it made or they understand who they are and uh, what they do doing to others. I don't know if we know anything about God. And if we know anything about God, what do we know? I've heard that, you know, you have to have enough belief in God to go from the natural to seeing the supernatural. It's almost like doing push-ups or something. You're not going to gain muscles or lose cellulite just by thinking about the push-ups or either just doing two or three of them. Some people saying they're tired and they're not. They're not really working. 
they think they are, and they say poisonous words, and it feels like lumber or some kind of bricks or something on their shoulders, just weighing them down. But this is a happy birthday to my friend Chris, who passed away, one of the nicest people I've ever met, along with my relative Mamie. Talk to my cousin Chris. Shout out to him as well. Get healthy. I enjoy the conversations. I do have my people who I talk to about the depths and things that I go through. And I'm sure y'all got somebody y'all talk to as well. I don't always show my cards. And um, I no longer really chase or care about whether I get all the views. If I'm accepted in these media worlds. But I'm thankful that I got a chance to talk to and have dialogue with Mr. Van Jakes and Mr. Byron Williams, our gentleman who played in the National Football League before. I sent them messages and they responded back immediately. And these are the connections that I need to cultivate. The ones with Coach Copeland, Morehouse, if possible. But my mind sometimes is distracted by wanting to have the live activity with a woman. Now that part right there, I'm still human like other people. So it's a problem, I get it. But it's only a problem to those who it's a problem too. So today is a an attempt to try to Imagine something that hasn't happened yet, and that's being happy. So I'm going to say happy birthday to my best friend Chris who passed away a little bit of time right after I got married. And um, I'm going to say happy birthday to myself July 18th, this Saturday. And I want to say to my family, I am, I'm enthusiastic. I pray that God blesses me with an opportunity to see you guys. And I'm trying to keep any kind of negativity out. The pandemic is here, supposedly. Everybody's boxed up, supposedly. And um, just got to be focused. So my objective again is to say I'm happy. From a phony standpoint, I don't believe it. But I'm going to try to say it long enough until I'm convinced. So watch this, I'm happy, I'm happy, I'm happy, here we go, one for God, one for Jesus Christ, and one for the Holy Spirit, love y'all.